Unresolved problem segment tonight. Voters in California will soon decide Proposition 8, which seeks to define marriage as between one man and one woman. Wall Street Journal reports today that the California Teachers Association has donated more than a million dollars to defeat the one man, one woman concept. Also, entertainers like Ellen DeGeneres are upset. Vice presidential candidate Governor Sarah Palin says that she's in favor of a federal ban on gay marriage. Basically, she wants to change the Constitution. So if you're wondering, I'm sure you are, how I feel about this, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't agree. Joining us now from Los Angeles, Sonia Eddings Brown, Deputy Communications Director for the ProtectMarriage.com organization. Now, you, uh, your organization is very controversial because you say that you're going to post the names of all corporations and companies that are supporting gay marriage and against Proposition 8 in California. Are you really guys, you guys going to do that? Well, not all of them, but there is a website that is a very big sponsor of No on Prop 8, Equality California. And we discovered on that website that there are a lot of big companies uh, that serve a lot of traditional families, too. Like what? Are, uh, like uh, AT&T, Comcast, Time Warner, Clear Channel, who are visibly and already listed on the website. Do these companies donate money to defeat the proposition? Absolutely. AT&T is listed at uh, $250,000. All right. So your group says, look, the people in California have a right to know who is helping um, the people who don't want the man-woman definition. All right. Now, when you hear somebody like um, Ellen DeGeneres, who is very heartfelt, very sincere, uh, took advantage of the gay marriage ruling by the Supreme Court in California to marry herself. How, how do you react to her? You... Well, I have the greatest respect for Ellen DeGeneres, um, and I understand her position, and I have a lot of friends as a producer in, in Hollywood for 20 years who you know, are fantastic people and making great contributions, and I care very much about their rights. And that's why the domestic partnership statutes have been carefully crafted by their own advocates so that they have exactly the same rights that I do as a wife in a traditional marriage, whether it's bereavement rights, they have the same thing that I do. Insurance okay, but, but rights. If, if Ms. DeGeneres were here, she would say, look, what, okay, all that's well and good, but I want, it's important to me that I get the marital status. And you say you can't have it, why? I say that the voters in California have been willing and are desirous to serve the gay community in any way possible up until the point of stepping on the rights of our children. And when the California Supreme Court, uh, uh, you know, alerted us and, and gave its decision in May on gay marriage, a lot of people don't know this, but on the last page of that decision, they literally drew a line through the words between a man and a woman. And when they did that, they changed marriage for everyone. And that is the one place in the law where we promise our children that as often as possible they're entitled to have a mother and a father. And so we feel like it's critical to leave that in the law. All and right, so you're looking at it then, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, so you correct me if I'm wrong, that, this, that it's a societal stabilizer and better for children to have marriage only defined as man and woman. That's your point of view? Sure. You cannot separate children from any discussion of marriage. And this is not just about rights, unfortunately. And it, if it was just about adults, we wouldn't be here. Do you think, you do you think if a child is adopted by a gay couple that their upbringing isn't as good as the traditional upbringing? Oh, I, I walk to school every day with gay parents. I think they're doing a fantastic job. I don't think... Uh, they've had, they've experienced teenagers yet, so, you know, uh, so I think they, they have some years to go. But we do know that through all, uh, since the dawn of time and through current studies, that children do best when they come from a low-conflict home with a mother and a father. And kids have civil rights, too. So the only reason that you see parents standing up and pushing back so passionately in California is not because we're opposing the rights of gay couples to have the same rights that we have in marriage. It's only because we feel, especially in this time in the world, that our kids need to have the very most basic things that they deserve. And Isn't it the ironic well. then that the California Teachers Association donated more than a million to uh, um, kill the proposition? They're supposed to be it's looking very, out for the kids too. It, well, 
uh, we've given up on waiting for institutions to protect our children. Um, there, there is an uprising of teachers in California who are very disappointed. Oh, I know the they're because they just take the teachers' dues and they don't ask them and they just do this stuff. No, without we know permission, it's they, they <clears throat> donated. So. It's awful. That was awful.